everyone welcome to the next session of answers workbench tutorials in this session we are going to take up cantilever beam which is subjected to uniformly distributed load we are using 1d type of beam analysis i'll first go to static structural and double click on it i'll rename the file as cantilever underscore udl udl is uniformly distributed load i'll go to geometry right click new design modular geometry i'll go to xy plane look at my unit will be in meter I'll go to sketching line. I'll draw a line. I'll give it some dimensions. Say the length of the beam is five meter. Next, I'll go to concept lines from sketches. I'll select the sketch. Apply generate. Now I'll give it some cross section. Let's choose. T cross section this time. I'm not changing these dimensions. You can change it as per your requirement. I'll go to line body. I'll change the cross section to T1. Next, I'll go to view cross section solids so that I can see my cross section very clearly. You can see this is a T cross section generated. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. This is my geometry that I can see a line body. I'll go to mesh sizing. I'll change it to fine update. In the mesh, I can see the body is of 3D type, though in the geometry, it will always show it is 1D because that is how the body is actually a 1D type. Now, this was an inverted T section which I took. So, if I have to hold the body this way, I'll have to accordingly work with my application of force by seeing this coordinate system here. So I'll go to analysis settings. I want to apply fixed on one side and load on the entire span of the T section. So I'll go to show vertices. This end I'm going to fix. So let me choose point. I'll select this right click insert fixed on this edge. I'm going to apply the force. So right click insert force i'll change vector to component now application of force is very important i want to apply force in the downward direction and this is the z direction so i'll have to apply 300 newton in this fashion now you can just check the mesh for your t section so on this pan i want to apply the load next i'll go to solution and solve Now I'll choose the results that I want to see, deformation, directional, x-axis, I'll change to z-axis. I'll go to probe, I want to see my force reaction at the fixed end. If you want, you can also see the moment reaction at the fixed support. And last I will see my beam tool for the stresses in the beam. I'll go to solution, right click, evaluate all results. Now I can see my deformation. I can animate and check. These are showing the values at various points. The unit right now is in mm. If you want to see the unit in meter, just change it to meter and you will get these values in meter. 
This is the force reaction at the fixed end whose value is known. Now I'll have to be very careful. This is the z-axis. I have applied the load in the downward direction. So obviously the reaction has to be upwards. And in the z direction I can see it is minus 300 because I applied the load as 300. I can see the moment reaction over here. At the fixed end, I can see the moment over here, it is 750. That is the value that is obtained. And here I can see the minimum combined stress on the beam. And this is the maximum combined stress on the beam. If you want, you can animate and check the result. So with this, I'll end the session. I hope you have understood the procedure for solving for cantilever beam, which is subjected to uniformly distributed load. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you.